Patricia Kluge and John W. Kluge were once the richest folks in the U.S., according to Forbes. They had a lot of money. But when they split up, Patricia got a good chunk of it along with some houses. She could have lived like a queen forever, but things took a turn. Eventually, she had to sell her fancy stuff, even her jewelry. By 2011, she was flat broke. So what went wrong for Patricia? Well, it's a story many Americans know. Living large without the cash to back it up. Using credit cards till they're maxed out. Living paycheck to paycheck. No savings for rainy days. But can you still live comfy even with a small paycheck? Can regular folks handle investing in stocks? The answer is in one thing, knowing how to handle your money called financial literacy. You don't need to inherit a fortune or make big bucks to live well. It's all about managing your money smart. And that's what we're here to talk about. This video will break down why being financially savvy matters and how it can help you in everyday life. We'll talk about debt, credit cards, and all those money basics. So stick around till the end to learn about these money matters. And hey, hit that subscribe button to keep up with more tips. Now, let's dive in. Financial smarts start with watching your spending. You gotta think about your goals, especially retirement. To be money wise, there are four things you gotta handle, right? First up, your income. You might think you know all about money coming in, but there's more to it. It's like a stream of gold coins from your hard work. And knowing how much you're making is key to getting the best out of it. Let me tell you Joe's story. Joe's your average guy working at the local coffee shop, but he's got big dreams. By being awesome at his job, he got a raise. See, it's not just about working hard, it's about working smart. Joe learned to play to his strengths, like being super friendly with customers. That's what got him noticed. So remember, it's not just about the hours you put in, it's about how much value you add. Now, imagine if Joe started a blog about coffee. People love his tips and stories, and soon he's making extra cash while he sleeps. That's passive income, like having a money-making machine in your pocket. So be like Joe. Find what you're good at and make it work for you. Now, on to expenses. Yeah, the stuff that makes your money disappear faster than a superhero. But here's the thing. You gotta track your spending. Think of it like hosting a party. You want to be a good host, but not let your guests eat all the snacks. That's where budgets come in. Budgets are like your money sidekick. They help you keep track of where your cash is going. Take Betty, for example. She's a graphic designer who loves her coffee. She knows exactly where her money's going. She follows the 50-30-20 rule. 50% for needs, 30% for savings, and 20% for fun stuff. That way, she's not left scrambling for cash when bills come knocking. Assets aren't just luxury items. They're anything valuable you own, like savings or collectibles, securing your financial future. Jordan, a high schooler, starts small but grows his savings through compound interest, eventually investing in stocks and real estate. Savings morph into investments, multiplying over time. Diversify your portfolio like a potluck to mitigate risks. Bonds are comforting, like mashed potatoes, while stocks are spicy wings, volatile but potentially rewarding. Spread your assets for a balanced feast. Think of saving as gathering acorns for winter and investing as managing a fleet of ships. Some may face storms, but most will return with treasures. Compound interest is like a snowball gaining size as it rolls downhill. When it comes to investment diversification, you've got various options, from bonds to convertibles. Index funds are like reliable family vans. ETFs are the sporty cars adding zest to your portfolio and individual stocks are thrilling but risky like motorcycles. Warren Buffett's advice boils down to prioritizing saving over spending, akin to having dinner before dessert to ensure financial stability. Compound interest, hailed by Einstein, works like magic, turning assets into princes over time. Starting early amplifies its power, leading to significant wealth accumulation over decades. Each dollar saved and invested becomes a soldier in your financial army, compounding interest acting as a strategic force against financial instability. In the epic journey of financial literacy, 
Amassing assets is not just a goal but an adventure spanning a lifetime. Patience and wisdom promise a golden treasure at the end. Now, on to understanding liabilities. Imagine liabilities as a dance partner who initially seems fun but ends up causing trouble, like overspending on credit cards. Financial literacy is crucial to avoid being ensnared by liabilities. Picture your money as a bar of soap. The more you handle it carelessly, the smaller it becomes. As Warren Buffett advised, avoiding debt is wise. Liabilities seductively promise buy now, pay later, leading to spending beyond one's means. However, not all liabilities are foes. Some, like student loans or mortgages, can aid in progress. Consider Bob investing in education through a loan. While accumulating debt, he enhances his future earning potential. Yet, credit card debt symbolizes a darker side. Similar to indulging in junk food, it offers instant gratification but leads to regret. Sally's shopping spree exemplifies this, where lavish spending results in mounting debt and relentless interest. Financial literacy involves grasping the delicate balance between assets and liabilities. Picture finances as a seesaw, assets as heroes and liabilities as villains. The aim is equilibrium, akin to dodging dodgeballs requiring agility and discernment. This understanding is essential for navigating the complex terrain of personal finance. Take Jeff, who's juggling multiple credit cards. He's playing a dangerous game of financial twister. Left foot on the gas bill, right hand on the grocery tab. It's all fun and games until he slips on the interest rate and lands face first in a pile of debt. Now for the gripping finale, escaping the clutches of liabilities. Picture yourself as the superhero in your own financial action movie. You're tied to a ticking debt bomb, and the only way out is through a calculated, clever plan. You need a budget, a map to navigate the treacherous waters of spending, and you need an emergency fund, your life vest for when the ship hits an iceberg. Think of these as your financial utility belt. Every superhero needs one. And here's a gem from none other than Benjamin Franklin. Beware of little expenses. A small leak will sink a great ship. That's your cue to plug those leaks and steer your vessel clear of the stormy seas of debt. So to wrap it up, my financially savvy friends, liabilities are like that one friend who's a blast to hang out with but always gets you into trouble. Learn the dance steps of financial literacy, and you'll be two stepping past debt and waltzing towards a secure financial future. And remember, in the grand ballroom of life, make sure you're the one choosing the music. And there you have it, my friends, a comprehensive financial literacy video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're interested, get any audiobook of your choice for free using the link below the video. Remember, this video is for educational purposes only and does not constitute investment advice. It's important to conduct thorough research and consult with financial professionals before making any investment decisions. For more financial knowledge, I recommend you watch the next video in our series. Don't hesitate to share this video, subscribe to our channel, and share your thoughts in the comments section. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.